Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Nose. Now, today we're doing a little experimentation here in the Low Nose Lab. We're going to see how close we can get this headset microphone to sound like this professional microphone. Could it be an epic success or a colossal failure? I don't know. Up next. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing is. With simple EQing, can we make this sound? How close can we get this to sounding like this? As you can hear, there is a difference. This is more on a higher end. This is maybe more of a fuller, rounder end. Are there some things that we can do with an EQ to improve the sound of this to get closer to that? Now, what we're going to do is I'm gonna, we're going to take the audio from both of these, the headset and the microphone. We're going to throw it into our editing audio editing program, and we're going to match them up. Uh, Logitech, Rode. And then we'll actually get a vi visual. I'll actually show you a visual visual representation of the sound waves that are happening within both of these. And we'll see if we can match the Logitech to the actual Rode NT1 and see how close we actually get to get this to sounding to this. Now, once we're doing this, I hope this will give you a better understanding of just how to manipulate your audio to make it sound better and what parts of the audio's what parts of the audio needs to be affected to improve it for your case. All right, let's get straight to it. Okay, so before we start it, let me apologize. I got a little congestion going on right here, so I'm going to sound a little nasally and a little high-end. Um, but let's get straight into it. All right, hold on a second. Pause the video. What's up, guys? It's Low from the future. Okay, so this guy right here had no idea what he was getting himself into at the time of the recording. And when I finished editing the video, I was like, wow, this video is like 30 minutes long. So I wanted to stop by and encourage you, stick with it. There's other videos out there similar to this, but they're like five minutes long and all they do is give you a preset and you leave the video not knowing any more than you did when you stepped into it. I'm not about having you copying presets. Um, I wanna give you an understanding of what's going on. And yeah, the video does go a little longer, um, but go ahead, sit through it, and you'll really get an understanding of what's going on and how to improve your audio. Now, um, right now I'll be starting in Pro Tools and further on in the video, I do the same thing in Vegas Pro. So I'll put a time code right here if you want to go straight to Vegas, the Vegas Pro part. But I encourage you, sit through it uh, and see how we get, see how I come about improving the audio. All right, so we'll give this guy a break. He knows what he's talking about, uh, sort of. All right, let's get to it. So we've got our two tracks, the top track being the top track, being the Logitech, the bottom being the Rode. And let's get a visual, well, actually, let's take a li listen first. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio. We can hear off the bat that the Logitech is, it's, it's a little high. It sounds like there's no low end whatsoever. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's high end, very t tinny, sounds very much like you're on a telephone. Um, and let's take a listen to the road now. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but- Okay, sounds like there is a little more, there is a substantial bump within the low end of the road. Um, uh, it's, it's not as high and crispy, no, it's not as high and teeny as a Logitech, uh, but it is, it is a little more higher, um, no, no. It, it, it sounds like it's a little more tamer within the, the, the mid-range or maybe the higher frequencies. Okay, so let's take a visual look at both of these audio forms. Okay, bring this up. All right, and this is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing is. With simple EQing, can we make this sound? How close can we get this to sounding? All right, so this is a visual, whoops. All right, so this is a visual representation of what's going on with the Logitech. As you can see right here, there is completely, the low end is almost non-existent. Um, and everything, it's, it's, it's all hovering around probably the mid-range. And then as it gets to the higher frequency, it kind of drops off. Like, look at that, there's the, the higher, it's even lower than the than the low end. So there's a huge drop, drop off as far as the higher frequency, but but this, uh, this microphone, it all concentrates probably around the mid-range. And to give you a little explanation, from, from left to right, 
is how your audio EQ or bands go. The, the further you are to the left is the lower end. And, and when you go all the way to the right, that's higher. That's the, the, as high. That you, you get higher as far as the bands go. So if you ever hear someone says, yeah, you know, um, this, this headset, it sounds good. Um, it's a little uh, crunchy or, or it emphasizes the mid-range. They're talking about this right here. This is the mids. So you have a rep representation uh, right now of what the mids are. Um, it's got nice, clear high ends. This is the high. This would be the high end. It looks like they're, they're a little low on the, the highs right here. And, of course, the low end is right here. Okay, so obviously what we do is uh, let's take a, 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 take a look at – let me save this right here. We'll call it a um, G633 pick. All right. Now let's take a snapshot of the road. This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing is, with simple EQing, can we make this sound? How close can we get this to sounding? Okay, so here we here's our rep representation. You can see that the low end is substantially higher than the Logitech. Not a lot, but it's it's just enough to where you can actually hear that that fuller difference. And the mid range, well, it, to me it looks like the mid range is a little more balanced. Before it was kind of like a high here, and then it just kind of swooped down here. But it looks like there's a little more tameness going on here within the mid range, um, the mid range of the audio for the road and maybe a little more uh not 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 that much of a drop or a drop in a shelf like the logitech was but the road it kind of it kind of holds it uh together um hmm okay okay so what we're going to do is now we're going to take this picture this waveform picture of the road and we're going to try to match it uh for we're going to try to match the logitech to the waveform of this first just to get an understanding so remember from the left is is our lows as we go all the way to the right. It's our mid, and then we go to our highs. All right, so let me mute this, and let me let me bring up my EQ. Okay, so I've got my visual representation right here, and I know just by looking at the representation that I'm gonna have to go higher on the low end for the Logitech. And also, if you can see right here, the, the mid range is a little is a lot more wider. There's more mid range um, on the on the, on the road, but it kind of sustains itself more. It's not like there's a, a, a drop off. And then of course there's a, the, um, it kind of slopes down at the end for the high, uh, for the high frequencies. Okay. So first, uh, let me give you an example the, here. I can mess the game of my frequency. So I can, I can select a certain frequency within this band. You can see all down here. These are certain frequencies and I can, I can select on if I can boost a certain frequency or I can diminish a certain frequency. Okay. Here, this actually plays, you know, which, particular frequency how I want so if there if you ever hear someone saying yeah you know what it sounds like it's kind of sharp uh, around like the one kilohertz frequency then I would know right here okay so this is the one kilohertz frequency you know this is this is where I'm playing around okay and then if I if there were something like yeah uh, it's a little too, too sharp on a uh, mid on one kilohertz frequency we should probably drop that down then in order to drop it down you'd probably take your gain and you just drop it right down down there. Now, as you can see, it's a bit of a wide adjustment. It's kind of affecting other frequencies as well. This is what this is your Q, and it, what the Q does is it kind of sharpens it up. You know, okay, no, no, I don't want to. I don't want the other frequencies to be adjusted. I just want the one K frequency to be adjusted. That's all I want to do, and I and I want to either boost that one single signal freq that one single frequency, or I want to drop that one single single frequency. You know, but if you feel like you need to adjust a fuller range of it, then you can do that if you choose. All right, so let me bring that back to one. All right, so as I go on, you'll see it, it'll, I'll put these explanations into practices. <laughs> okay, so already I know I need to go higher as far as the low end goes. And, I, and since I know that the, the frequency of the, of the Logitech is on the higher end, then I'm gonna have to do a lot of, I'm gonna have to do things a bit on the higher level to kind of match these settings. All right, so let's, let's go up on on the Logitech, let's see how it sounds. And it will actually get a vi visual. I'll actually show you a visu visual representation of the sound waves that are happening within both of these. And we'll see if we can match the Logitech to the actual Rode NT1 and see how close we actually get to s get this to sounding to this. Now, 
once we're doing this, I hope this will give you a better understanding of just how to manipulate your audio to make it sound right, better. So let me, let me, and what parts of audio, let me around the, what parts of the audio range. To, be affected to improve it for your case? All right, let's get straight to it. Huh, okay. To sounding to this. Now, once we're doing this, Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been let's, doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's a Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like... All right, so uh, around 116 the frequency of the low end, around 12 decibel boost. Uh, let's try it with a low mid-range frequency. I, I know I still want to get a lot of, uh, I want to get a little more fuller because you can see right here, there's a little more, more low mid-range um, for the road. So let's, 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 let's start by boosting it up. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. No. It's a Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make hear the sound that you're hearing now this is a logitech g633 it doesn't have all the innards like this so you're going to complete you're going to have a different sound but the but the thing is with simple eqing can we make this sound how close can we get to all right so just by affecting the low end and the uh low end mid frequency let's how let's see how what our comparison right now is okay i really like the idea of this experiment i've been doing a lot of how to improve your, your audio, audio videos, videos on the channel but Let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This we're is We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're, we're definitely getting closer. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. We've already got a nice... It's a fuller sound. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here. All right, so there we go. We've, we've got that maybe that, that radio bassy uh, radio sound right now. Okay, I really like the... Okay, and then the Logitech... Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve. Okay, so okay, so now that we've increased the low end on the Logitech, now it sounds like we need to maybe boost up the mid range or boost or maybe drop the mid range. But we need some kind of clarification within the audio now. We've got the fullness, but now okay, so let's go to our mid range. And the mid range is gonna ha hang around uh, the one uh, the one thousand kilohertz level. Yep, around right here. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Let's 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 bring this up a bit. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has perfect. All right, so if you saw what just happened, we brought up some more low end by backing down on the mid range. Remember, the Logitech was super high in the mid range, but by backing down. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but so so since remember we were high in the mid range to begin with, so maybe I could probably back off a little bit on on the other ones. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel. Okay, and now we can probably start going up. Let's try here. Let's go up on the on the higher mid range. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but. Let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? Much. This is a professional microphone. It's a Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. All right, so let's do a comparison. And I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get real. And I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here. We're okay? getting close. We're this getting really close. This is a professional okay. microphone. It's a Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, the circuitry, everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing. All right. So let's let's before we keep going, let me show you what it sounds like before. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but. Let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's a Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, the circuit. We are super, super, super close. All right, so let's take off. Let's roll off on the high end. Since the initial one had a lot, had, didn't have a lot of high end. Let me uh, let me get away from these other frequency every frequencies, and let's let's roll off on the high end. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but 
let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing is. With simple EQing, can we make this sound? How close can we get How's to that? sounding How's like? How's that? Before? Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio video. After. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel. That is a huge difference. A huge difference. We went from, we went from uh, tiny to tinny to now. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel. Now, obviously, it's not going to sound exactly like. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio. It's completely two different hard hardwares, but. It's as close as you're gonna get. Okay, so we've got our EQ applied. Let's see what it looks like visually. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment. Okay, so we can. Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how. Okay, so we see that the mid range is now it's a lot more wider and fuller. It's still struggling on the low end. That's just ju that's just the way um, the sound is from the microphone, but it is a lot higher. And Experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but. And Let's there is some difference within the, the high low end, but of course it just drops off so much heart, so much uh so much here. It's a bit different. Okay, so now let's add something else. Let's add some compression to uh, to fullen out the mix. All right, so I've been, I've been doing, doing a lot of how now we're, we're gonna do this all by ear because the reason why we're adding compression is if I don't know if you noticed, but it, it gets a little sharp sometimes. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but you notice how sometimes it's calm and all of a sudden when I, when I get higher, it's like, it's, it's, a little, it's a little rough there. We're going to add some compression here to kind of tame it down. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make hear the sound that you're hearing now. All right, just so to explain to you, here, experiment. I've been doing a lot. I'm adding a threshold here, and this is how this is how much threshold, how much comp how much compression I want to, how much I want to back down on the volume. So this is this, I've been doing this a lot bouncing voice. This is where the voice is trying to go. But channel, this but line here. Let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a basically minor. Basically, anything that passes this line, anything that passes this line right here. Is going to get crunched, crunched, crunch, and that's what's going on. I've been doing See, a lot of all of this is getting crunched around here. It's channel, all getting crunched around negative twenty-seven for a moment here. Okay? Uh, negative twenty-seven this decibels. Okay, but I want to do. I want to affect the ratio, and that's how much. So you can see, it's like okay, that's a little lunch. That's a, that's a little crunch, but the more ratio I, I apply, that's that's how much harder that I want the compression. Okay, so I want. I want the low end to, to sound right, but then I want to... I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're going to have a different sound. But the, but the thing is... With simple EQing, can we make this sound? How close can we get this to sounding like this? As you can hear, there is a difference. This is more on a higher end. This is maybe more of a fuller, rounder end. Are there some things that... All right, so, all right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with a ratio of three, 3 to 8 and a threshold of negative 20. And a difference will be this. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a lot. I'm going to stick with a three ratio. All right, okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, what, what we're going to do is now, I'm going to take a picture of this. Compression. And now I'm going to bring both the picture of our EQ settings that we settled on and a picture of our EQ setting. And we're going to bring this into Vegas Pro. Um, and I'm going to show you how can we, we can replicate these results in Vegas Pro um, to, make, to make this audio sounds better. Uh, I tried doing it in Audacity before, in Audacity, when it came to actually manipulating and putting the, the actual effects and especially the, figuring out the bands. 
um, and the the queue, it just it just wasn't happening. I just I found it a lot easier in Vegas Pro. Okay, so let's jump straight into Vegas Pro and let's let's see if we can transfer the effects that we did within Pro Tools to make our audio sound better, sound real close. Uh, let's see if we can replicate it in Vegas Pro. All right, so let's get to getting our audio sounding as close to the NT1A as possible in Vegas Pro. Uh, we've got our snapshot from Pro Tools, and we're going to try to match these settings now that we already did all the hard work in uh, in Pro Tools. So let's open up our EQ on the track, and we will go here, and now we'll, we'll see some familiar things. You can see the, the bands here, frequency, gain, and the roll-off. Okay, so let's bring up our, our picture, and let's just say... All right, so the low end, we're going to do, the frequency was 1647. So we'll just do that there. 164.7. The gain was 7, 7.9. Right, and the, and the roll off, which is here, the Q, we settled for 0.97, right? We did uh, 0.97. Okay. Now, obviously, because this is a seven-band EQ and uh, and um, Vegas Pro is a four-band, we're gonna have to do some manipulation afterwards to kind of figure it out. Um, probably again have to do it by ear. All right, so band number two, uh, the low end frequency, one hundred fifty point nine, and then the gain we decided to do ten, and the bandwidth was one, so we will leave it at one, and then let's go to number three. Uh, Mid-range, high-range, okay, so we're going to have to do something somewhere in the middle here. Um, but yeah, we, we'll, we will attack the low the low, low range because in the ones, see the frequency here is one, and then number three is around the one range here, so we're going to affect that. We're going to leave it at one. We'll leave it at one. Um, and then the gain was negative two, okay, negative 2.2, and the roll-off was around 1.16. And then a high mid-range frequency is around 2,000. 2,000. And then again, we decided to do two. And the roll-off, we decided to, we left it at one. All right, so it looks like completely different compared to our actual diagram. So we're definitely have to do some adjustments uh, coming around. All right, so let, let's take a listen. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to do some additional manipulation to this because the EQs are just completely different, and I guess we're gonna have to go back to ear again. But so the differences are. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been that's doing a lot the EQ, of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment. Here, and that's okay? with the EQ. This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a dial. Admit the EQs may look differently, but it definitely sounds the same. Let's take a let's take a look here. The points are all, the points are similar on both sides, except it's just a little different as far as, you know, the, the colors it goes. All right. So let's see here. Let's check out the bands. Is there anything? Band one is a low shelf. No. I want that to be a band. No, I don't. And this one is just a low. This is a high shelf. Okay. No, I want all of these to be bands because I am not working with a, a high uh, a shelf at all. Or. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, maybe I'll have to go back to it. Okay. So let's 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 take a listen. Let's let's play this out. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it, uh, the circuitry. Everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing is. With simple EQing, can we make this sound? How close can we get this to sounding like this? As you can hear, there is a difference. This is more on a higher end. This is maybe more of a fuller, rounder end. Are there some things that we can do with an EQ to improve the sound of this to get closer to that? Now, what we're going to do is I'm gonna, we're going to take the audio from both of these, the headset and the microphone. We're going to throw it into our editing audio editing program, and we're going to match them up. Uh, Logitech, Rode. 
and then we'll actually get a vi visual. I'll actually show you a visual, visual representation of the sound waves that are happening within both of these. And we'll see if we can match the Logitech to the actual Rode NT1 and see how close we actually get to get this to sounding to this. Now, once we're doing this, I hope this will give you a better understanding of just how to manipulate your audio to making it sound better and what parts of audios what parts of the audio needs to be affected to improve All right, let me, it let me jump to the compressor. for your case. All right, let's get straight to it. My threshold, I want to bring that down to around negative, I think I, I decided negative 20 before. Around, and, and I, is this my ratio? Yes, this is my ratio. I think it was about three. Okay. Let's go back and let's start from the beginning. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a I lot want of... The, I want my input low... And that, because I, I don't want it to be, get okay. overloaded. Is a professional and I will a make the final and output has higher. professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, the circuitry, everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this. So you're okay. going to come all right. you're going to All right. So it's sounding it's sounding better. It's sounding good. Let's let's do a quick comparison. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and, and it has, has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, We're sounding pretty close. The only thing I would like to do is within this one. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, All right, so the only difference I do or I would probably play with is probably bring out the voice and the Logitech just a little more. We brought out the low end enough, you know, just to make it sound a little more fuller, but it is kind of getting a little... Um, you know, washed out, and I and I may need to bring up the highs. I mean, I may need to drop some lows, or I need to bring up something higher. Maybe maybe play with the mid range. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel, but let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, the circuitry, everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the thing is, okay. With simple e. All right. One final comparison. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio. Video. Yeah, and then. Okay, I really like the idea of this experiment. I've been doing a lot of how to improve your audio videos on the channel. Without? But let's get realistic for a moment here, okay? This is a professional microphone. It's the Rode NT1A, and it has professional pieces. There's a diaphragm within it. Uh, the circuitry, everything is made to make to hear the sound that you're hearing now. This is a Logitech G633. It doesn't have all the innards like this, so you're gonna complete. You're gonna have a different sound. But the but the or that's it. It's it's not perfect, but man, we got damn damn close. And definitely, if you're using a, a microphone, a regular headset microphone, this is a way to improve your audio. Uh, mess with the bands. Here we go. Let, let me bring it back up. I got definitely, you know, mess with the definitely mess with the bands. And if if you want to copy these settings just to kind of get like a head start, um, go ahead. Um, for for the the first band, band one around uh thirty. Uh, frequency gain 10, bandwidth 4, uh, number 2, 150 frequency, 8.4 for the gain, bandwidth 2.7, 3, 626 6 under frequency, uh, the gain 4.6, bandwidth 1, and for the fourth band, uh, frequency 2674, gain 7.8, bandwidth 3.2. Hopefully, I, I, I hope, I, I know it's a lot easier said than done, but I hope this makes a little more understanding on how EQ and your audio affects your audio and, and what kind of what aspects of the EQ and process affects what parts of what you are hearing, the low end all the way to the high end, to, high hand, to the high end. Um, was it a success? Mm, I, I think it was somewhere in the middle. I think, I think it, uh, I don't think it brought up more questions, but I, I think it cleared up some things that maybe you were, you just weren't sure that anyone wasn't sure about as far as how, how things affect um, audio. Um, I, I feel like we, we improved the audio a lot. Did we get close to it? Eh, I knew from the beginning we weren't going to get super close to it because, like I said, it's just two different pieces of hardware. That's like saying, hey, um, how, um, uh, how, much, 
how can we get a, uh, let's just say, uh, a Toyota Civic to match the performance and the speed of a Ferrari? You know, I mean, you can soup up that Civic all you like, but, you know, it, it, hey, you're getting close, but it's just not it. You know, and it's the same way here. Uh, but I, 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 I think it had definitely uh, improved cleared up a lot of uh, questions or mystifications as far as EQing your audio. Your audio. All right, guys. Well, if you found this video helpful, I, I hope it did, or if, at least you, or if at least you felt like you learned something from it, go ahead, please leave a like. Um, if you found like it didn't help you whatsoever, then go ahead. Uh, you won't hurt my feelings. Go ahead. Leave a big fat uh, dislike. Um, I know some parts, maybe it was all over the place, but um, and it's just kind of trying to clear up that understanding of EQing the audio. All right, guys, I got more videos just like this on the channel. So go ahead, please, uh, subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this and go ahead, join the Lone Nose sort of community on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's have a conversation. Let me know, see, see what's going on. Say hi. I'll say hi right back to you. And, um, uh, and until next time, guys, oh, oh, I'm sorry. And please, any questions or comments about this video or any other videos, feel free, go ahead leave a comment below and I'll try to clear up some kind of things that may not, that maybe weren't enough, clear enough for you to understand in the video. Um, I'm always getting back to you guys. You know, I'm good at that. Uh, so, okay. So until next time, until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Later.